Good morning, friends. In the law of torts, today let us discuss a simple issue: death in relation to torts. Death relating to torts. So normally, already I told you that tort is a very simple thing. Tort we can get only compensation. So just like assault, battery, or nuisance, or trespass, all these things. But how death can come in the torts? Yes, it happens sometimes. So in the case of nervous shock also, Hambrook or Stokes brothers, I told you that the woman died because of the shock. So sometimes it happens. So at that time, can they get compensation or not? So please remember, there are incidences where a person may die with tort also. So you need to uh, file a murder case against him, right? So this is based on the legal concept. I have to tell you, actio personalis moiter cum persona. So that means uh, a personal cause of action dies with the person. If he dies, then uh, normally you cannot take any action also. Right. Now we'll go to the case laws. Already these are decided case laws. We uh, told you. So in negligence, I told you this case law. East India Hotels Limited versus uh, Klaus Mittel, Class Burst, 1997. So this Klaus Mittel, Class Burst was uh, a co-pilot in Lufthansa Airlines on that particular day. He came from Germany as a co-pilot. Of course, uh, next day only he has to get back to Germany. So he was given accommodation in a five-star hotel called as East India Hotels Group. It's Gobera Hotel Delhi. So he wanted to relax for a while. So he went to the swimming pool and uh, dived into the swimming pool. But because of the uh, actually lapses in the construction of the swimming pool and because there was no sufficient water, his head hit the floor of the swimming pool and uh, he received injuries. He went into coma and lastly he died also. He went into coma. This part, uh, yes, it was taken as negligence on the part of the East India hotels. So since he was in coma, the government of Germany, they have taken precaution. Of course, they shifted him to Germany. Now the point is, yes, negligence was proved because uh, as a five-star hotel, you take a lump sum, you take heavy amounts of uh, money from the customers and your service should be up to that level. So since there is a failure or negligence, uh, they are fined rupees 50,000 or 50 lakhs as compensation. It's good. But here, so once again, the East India Hotels, they appeal the matter. While the appeal is uh, pending, that man died. Here the, the issue, the court uh, has taken that uh, the defendant's case so ended with the death of the person. So his legal heirs can get the compensation amount till his death. That means whatever expenses were there up to his death, they have to be paid. So here death has occurred and the compensation has been given. Then another case, Bowen Hill versus Young, 1943. So what happened is the plaintiff, Mr. Bowen Hill, by getting into a tram car, so normally you may be knowing this woman, she was a fisherwoman. She sells fish. So she was uh, getting into the tram car and she heard that uh, uh, at certain place, suddenly there was screeching and she heard that some uh, uh, person met with an accident. Some accident has taken place on the road. So that's why the tram car, you may be knowing, if you go to Calcutta, you'll be seeing the tram cars, it stop, right? And so after some time, all the people, all the passengers in the tram, they boarded and uh, they are going away. So she also wanted to get down. But what happened is, after coming down, so actually the incident, the motorcycle has uh, was not there and the person was also shifted. But there was a pool of blood. On seeing the pool of blood, she suffered nervous shock and she died. But of course here, even though she died, it was not taken as a case of uh, talk because the, she was not in the scene of events. She, it is fine. It shows her, simply to say, it shows her weak mind. So, even though death is there, no compensation. Then, Hambrook versus Stoke Brothers, uh, 1925. Here, what happened is, uh, Hambrook's wife, actually, so she went uh, along with her child. Actually, she went to drop her child in the nearby convent. So, the convent was located in the corner. So when she was uh, go up to the corner, they went and the boy said, Mom, you can go back, just it is very nearby. So thinking that you will go away to the school, uh, she started returning. But suddenly she heard cries and shouts stating that uh, some lorry belonging to Stokes Brothers, uh, it was coming from upside down without brakes and uh, a boy of the same description of the uh, this uh, 
Hamrook's uh, child, uh, oh, this man was hit by the lorry. Suddenly, she saw, but she understood, she was under the impression that that boy belonging, boy was her son, and she felt nervous shock and he died. So here, the compensation was granted, you may be knowing. Death is there, but uh, not bad, because she was in the arena, scene of offense. Uh, yes, it is taken as a, a death due to negligence of the lorry driver. What happened is, the lorry driver halted the lorry in the upstairs, uh, on the upper portion of the road, then he asked the cleaner to apply the hand brakes and also put a brick in front of the tires and he went to tea. But this man, without applying the same properly, he also went to tea. Ultimately, the brake failed, ultimately the vehicle slowly coming up and it has caused some more accident or something like that. But here, the tort is proved. So, here also, death compensation granted. Last case, Balbir Singh versus Gangaram Hospital, 2001. Here, Mr. Balrivir Singh, he wanted, uh, actually he filed a case against a doctor, a surgeon in Gangaram Hospital. So far, he stated that due to medical negligence, uh, his son died. Therefore, he wanted to take action against uh, a surgeon. Of course, he did not file the case against uh, Gangaram Hospital authorities, only against the doctor. So, while the case is being uh, tried, uh, the surgeon died. His surgeon died. So, there is a tort. His son died, but now the surgeon also died. Here the concept, activo personals moiter cum persona. So the action dies with the person. Since the surgeon died, no compensation can be given because you cannot drag his legal heirs or his children to pay compensation. So the action dies with him. So friends, these are simple cases relating to the death in relation to thoughts, important of self-subject, you may get a small question on this, right? Thank you very much.